Good day, my dearest sisters and brothers. My name is Roxanne Cleveland Jordan. I'm so happy to be greeting you with joy and wonder on this new day as we continue to celebrate the freshness of the resurrection. Jesus Christ is risen indeed. If I could, I would now be singing all heavens declare the beauty of the risen Lord. But singing is not my gift. So let us pray. Dear God, it is with laughter, warmth, and with many concerns in our souls that we come to worship you today. Thank you for all the blessings and the courage you give us all the time, especially now in these testing times of COVID-19. Please bless us as we gather, and as we remember those who are struggling with ill health, the grieving, the destitute, the poor, the sad, health workers stretched by COVID-19, our families who are not with us and those who feel that hope is not alive. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I am basing my reflection today on the interaction between Jesus and Mary at the tomb, and I am asking us to consider that nothing is ever the end. We know the one account of the resurrection of Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 20. We refresh our memories by reading only from the 11th to the 18th verses. But Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she knelt to look into the tomb and saw two angels sitting there dressed in white, one at the head, the other at the foot of where Jesus' body had been laid. They said to her, Woman, why do you weep? They took my master, she said, and I don't know where they put him. After she said this, She turned away and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not recognize him. Jesus spoke to her, Woman, why do you weep? Who are you looking for? She, thinking that he was the gardener, said, Mister, if you took him, tell me where you put him so I can care for him. Jesus said, Mary. Turning to him, she said in Hebrew, Rabboni, meaning teacher. Jesus said, Don't cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go to my brothers, and I want to believe my sisters. Tell them, I ascend to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went, telling the the news to the disciples. I saw the Master, and she told them everything he had said to her. Now I have two elderly friends, whose two sons died within two years of each other. I saw my dear friend's shoulders drop and I saw the deep pain in their eyes. But they kept on living as if even the death of their children was not the end. That did not mean that they did not grieve and still do not feel the pain of the physical separation of death. They were just not defeated. I can so imagine Mary's distress and pain when she could not find the body of Jesus. That must have felt like another bad end for Mary. And then we have the total exhilaration as she recognized Jesus. Her sorrow was lifted and she formed a new communion with Jesus. She did not find the dead corpse that she was looking for, but she did find the risen Christ. We also find the living, risen Jesus Christ all the time in our lives because we know whom it is that we are looking for. We all face moments or may face moments in our lives where something comes our way where we may feel that the end is here for us. Things like death or getting caught out, a health issue, a financial crisis, reputation crisis, heartache, disappointment, self-blame, and I am sure that you can add to this list from personal experience or the experience of others. We call these times night, this nach. Even Jesus, when he gave up the spirit as he was hanging on the cross, said, it is finished. And then Easter came, Easter morning came, and it was not finished. He had risen from the dead and turned us into an Easter people, a people of hope. Not only hope in our personal circumstances and the forgiveness of our sins and defeating the finality of death, but hope for a better world, a world in which harmony and independence must be restored and it can be restored. 
The suffering on the cross tells us that nothing is ever the end. The empty tomb also tells us that nothing is ever the end. For us, Jesus was not confined to a tomb, but broke the chains of bad and repressive powers and instilled in us a holy strength to never give up. COVID-19 is here, but it is not the end for us. Nothing can ever be the end because Jesus Christ is risen. Nothing is ever the end. Amen. Our benediction today is my prayer, and it is an African benediction, and the words are arranged in a way that is not how we were taught to use the English language. Walk tall, walk well, walk safe, walk free, and may harm never come to thee. Walk wise, walk good, walk proud, walk true, and may sun always smile on you. Walk prayer. Walk huge, walk faith, walk light, and may peace always guide you right. Walk joy, walk brave, walk love, walk strong, and may life always give you song. Stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands, and stay with God. Amen.